terms of the Attorney General, in terms of uh, capacities that are necessary for that office to discharge its advisory role and legal mandate to the government and to the people of Kenya. You may be aware that uh, recently your immediate predecessor um, has worked with us, uh, and I'm happy that he's here, has worked with us in uh, reorganizing the legal framework that uh, underpin the office of the Attorney General to give it sufficient latitude, human capital, and other necessities for that office to function efficiently. I am very confident with your experience, having, been, having grown up from the ranks, uh, and I think you become the first person to grow through the ranks at the Attorney General Office and become the legal head of uh, that institution. And therefore, I have no doubt in my mind that you have what it takes to get that office to appropriate its place in the service of the nation. You are aware also that um, there is need to expand the footprint of the Office of the Attorney General to take care of litigations and uh, legal requirements in different parts of the country. That again will be another step that you may consider and uh, we will be working with you to make sure that people access justice on time and government gets legal representation to protect the greater interest of the people of Kenya. Um, representation that is made available to government is important in protecting public interest and public good. We have huge awards against government running into, I think, six, seven hundred billion. There has been occasion by underrepresentation of government in many cases. Sometimes it has been occasioned by compromise of um, government representation. It is very important, Madam Attorney General, that you work with all the other agencies to make sure that that responsibility and legal representation to both the government and the people of Kenya is timely, is robust, and is appropriate. Um, many people have said you become the first woman in, the, in independent Kenya to be Attorney General. Um, this appointment is not just about you being a woman. It is about you being competent. I am very confident that on account of competence and ability to deliver, you deserve to serve in this position. And I'm very confident and uh, clear that you will not only make us as a country proud, but also you will demonstrate what has always been said, that what a man can do, <laughs> maybe a woman can do better. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm sure many people will be watching. 